Let's walk through how to set up a credible and bright space and get the integration running so we can issue certificates and badges that look like this to our Brightspace students. To get started, I'm just going to load up three tabs. One is the Brightspace setup instructions just on our help desk. The second one is my Brightspace instance, instance where I'm on a course. And the third one is my credible account. So step one, I'm going to go to my credible account, head over to settings, API and integrations, scroll down to the Brightspace section here, hit expand, and then I need to enter my instance URL here. So if I head over back to my Brightspace instance, it means the domain name for the Brightspace instance. So I'm just going to copy that, paste it in here, and then hit save. That's all the setup that we need to do on the Accredible side. So let's add Accredible as an external learning tool on Brightspace. So I'm going to click this link here, External Learning Tools. I'm going to head over to Manage Tool Providers, and I'm going to create a new tool provider. So in Launch Point, I need to provide the URL that we give in the instructions. It's just this URL here. So again, just going to copy that and paste it here. Next, it needs the secret. Now, the secret is unique to your account, and you can find it on this same section that we just edited on your credible account settings. So again, I'm just going to copy that, head over here, and paste that in. Then I need to select Use Custom Tool Consumer Information and I'm going to enter my key. The key is unique to your account and can be found on your API settings page. So we need to give a name to the tool. I'm going to just call it a credible and a description. This is just going to show up for other admins. Under the contact email, just put in support at accredible.com. So under security settings, we need to check every one of these except for send system org defined ID to tool provider. Then we just need to say who we want to make this tool available to. So I'm going to say everyone under my Accredible Course 3 offering that I have here, I'm going to make sure that it's available to those. Then I'm going to save and close that. So now you'll see that we've got this launch point ready. We've added the tool provider that is Accredible. So now we just need to head to Manage External Tool Links and add a new link. So the title is going to be what's shown to students in Brightspace. So I'm going to call this uh, certificate so that the students know that it, this is a certificate. And then in the URL field, we need to enter that same URL. But I'll just scroll to the right section of the settings, copy it from there. Now we could enter a description that we want to show to the students. We may want to describe what the certificate or badge is for. I'm going to leave it blank in this case. Then if we scroll down here, we want to make sure that we're using the tool consumer key in secret. We've already entered that. We don't want to enter it again. And we want to make sure that we use the security settings that we've already entered again. We don't want to make you enter that twice or every time that you enter one of these. So again, we just need to select who we want to make this available for. And again, I'm just going to choose to make this available for everything that's a child of that course three. Let's hit save and close. And now we're done with the installation. So, so now that we've got the installation set up, we're going to add it to a particular course. So I'm going to go to the content section of my course here, and you'll see 
any content I've got in that course is going to show up here. And I've just got this one example module. So we can add a certificate or a badge um, in any way we want to any module or submodule, and we can add many of those per course. So how we do that is we just select Add Existing Activities, External Learning Tools, and we select the link that we named earlier. So this link is called Certificate. Let's drop that in there, and we make sure it's published. So now we've we finished. We've added this to the course. Let's give that a, a click and see what happens. And you'll see an options page that looks like this. So if you're an instructor or an administrator in Brightspace, you'll see an options page that looks like this. We just need to choose the certificate or badge design for this particular instance. I'm just going to select an existing design that we have. You can see that all the course information has been pulled across. I could edit that and provide a more detailed description. But then let's close that. And if we head back to our content and select that again, you'll see that our options page stays up to date and we'll be able to do things like view the recipients, manage the design, manage the communication or the settings for this particular certificate or badge. We can add as many certificates or badges to each course in Brightspace. We just follow the last few steps and repeat those for each one that we'd like to add. Like any activity in Brightspace, we can just specify rules as to what a student has to complete before they get to that activity um, to restrict when they should have the certificate or badge available. What will happen for the students is when they click on the certificate or badge activity, they will be taken directly to a certificate or badge that's now issued to them for the course according to the details that we've just set up. So let's take a quick look at that and what it looks like for a student. So here I'm signed in as a student on the example course that we've just been working with. And I'm going to look at the content for this course. And you can see the module activity that the student has available. If I give this a click as the student, then you'll see the student gets a logged in view of the certificate or badge that they've just received. And in this view, they can do things like share on social media, embed it into their website, email it to other people, download a PDF copy, even do things like request a name change. Like all things on a credible, these are configurable, but the student never has to know that they've left Brightspace and it's entirely within the Brightspace environment that they can interact with their certificates and badges.